So I believe we're uh, we're live here. Howdy, thanks for tuning in. We had a little trouble here last time we did this from the house. Uh, technical issues, uh, end user error, I should say. But... Thank you all for joining us. Uh, we've I've got some we've got some company here. My sister Joy is here. So nice to see you. We've all been very fortunate and uh, been able to get vaccines. Most of us, anyhow. Uh, Jesse and uh, Nikki and Liam are here. He'll probably be in here in a minute, uh, helping me rearrange and re and change where everything I need is. Um, and my son Matt is here, and I think his girlfriend Amber is over or on her way over. So it's beautiful weather here in Southern California, springtime in California. Um, uh, it's a little too early for it to be this warm. Uh, we're all kind of nervous about it, even though it's nice, uh, because we're afraid it's going to be very hot before very long. We have basically two and a half months of winter, if that. It just uh, was like nothing at all. So, uh... But anyhow, I was thinking about this. Uh, this has been a year of this for everybody. So uh, um, this song is not exactly about this. This is, a, this is an older song. I've sung, sung this a few times. It's, uh, it's about losing track of where you belong. And, and in the case of what we've all been going through here for the last uh, um, year, uh, losing track of a whole year, I guess. So is everything working there, baby? Yes. So, like I said last time, we had a little bit of technical issues, but I think we're all a go. This is a song called Georgia Pines from a long time ago from an album called The Buffalo Show. Uh, and as I said, it's about losing track of where you belong. Georgia pines full of blackberry vines Where the air smells so sweet and so pure There's a clearing, they say, full of sunlight and shade In those deep, dark, tall Georgia pines Well, I should never have left for Virginia but there was something I just had to see From the day I lost sight of my home and my kin There's been a black cloud following me But those deep Georgia pines full of blackberry vines Where the air smelled so sweet and so pure There's a clearing they say Full of sunlight and shade In those deep, dark, tall Georgia pines I mean, I'm a stranger, and a stranger to them is no concern. I long for the day I can leave here, and to my home I will gladly return. To those deep Georgia pines full of blackberry vines, where the air smells so sweet and so pure. There's a clearing, they say, full of sunlight and shade In those deep, dark, tall Georgia pines Ah, those deep Georgia pines full of blackberry vines Where the air smells so sweet and so pure 
There's a clearing, they say, full of sunlight and shade in those deep, dark, tall Georgia pines. In those deep, dark, tall Georgia pines. Thank you, everybody, and thank you, everybody out there. Listen, Katie. Howling on cue. Hey, what a good dog. And Liam's right here. He may wander in and out of frame. Uh, um, uh, Katie's right here getting a little scratch. You can see. There you go. You see a little bit of Katie in Katie's ears. So uh, I'm going to send that uh, song out to my sister Barbara, who's not too far from the Georgia Pines, uh, back there in Montgomery, and had a birthday just at the beginning of the month. What was a uh, on the 4th. Sorry, I had to ask Susie. Sorry, Barbara. Um, uh, but April 4th, happy birthday to Barbara. So uh, I'm going to just keep going here with another song because that one seemed to go pretty well. This, um, many years ago when I was much younger, I rode the train from Mexicali, Mexico, down to Puerto Vallarta, and it was an amazing trip. Uh, it was very interesting. I had never been anywhere like that at that time. I saw things I had not seen before, and I saw things I have not ever seen since. That's Liam uh, uh, talking with Katie, obviously. But uh, at the time, I was a broken-hearted kid, and one of the things I discovered was that you uh, can't outrun your heartaches. They're going to travel along with you uh, like an unwelcome uh, companion. This is called Mexicali Train. Bus to Mexicali, I counted up my bills and all my change. As we rolled on past Tecate through the mountains and the deserts and the sage. Well, in my mind I hear you talking all the same words time and time again. Till the only thing that's left for me is leaving on the Mexicali train. Well, I stumbled off the bus and through the crowded streets when looking for a sign. Past the old men and the vendors, the women who keep giving me the eye. If you ever really love me, now it's only just the memories that remain. And from the station to the platform, I step onto the Mexicali train. Mexicali down to Guaymas and the dusty streets of Ciudad Obregón. Yeah, chickens, dogs, and children running through the car like something's going on. Kerouac and Cassidy, their ghosts still drift across these open plains. As I struggle with the ghosts that follow me onto this Mexicali train. I wake up in the moonlight Passing through some town that's lost in time By now the car is empty 
Just some low and dirty voices from behind If they thought to try and take me soon enough They see their plan is all in vain Cause I'm just another homeless soul riding on the Mexicali train. And in the darkness and the loneliness, your memory keeps filling up my mind. Your taste, your smell, and all those tender nights are just so hard to leave behind. I wonder if I ever can forget or ever love someone again. Yeah, but for now I'll try to lose myself somewhere inside the Mexicali train. And at the station in Tequala, the morning sun is blazing in the sky. And the train is filling up with calls of buenos dias and goodbye. And the voice of Castaneda echoes out among the cars like a refrain. Once again, I'll try to lose myself somewhere inside the Mexicali train. Yeah, once again I'll try to lose myself somewhere inside the Mexicali train. Thank you very much. As I've said, I've got uh, some family here, which is very, very nice to have a little bit of course, I've had Susie here for all of these shows uh, for the last year, but to have a little more of an audience. And everyone's been instructed that uh, uh, my little jokes, even if they're not funny, to act like they are, laugh a little bit. And the thing, the stories that I tell act like they're interesting and act like they're really great stories and clever. And everything, everybody's been well, well, well instructed here. So should go well. I'm going to do uh, a song from uh, the same album. Uh, the last song comes from an album called Sweet Bernadine, and this song also, and uh, this is a song called Mariachi Hotel, and it's about an old hotel in East L.A. and Boyle Heights that came to be known as the Mariachi Hotel, because for many years, mariachi musicians would travel up to this uh, Southern California area and uh, searching for work, looking for work, of course, and oftentimes they would know somebody that played um, in mariachi bands, mariachi music, and uh, these guys had already started to gravitate towards this hotel, and uh, so um, as these new guys came up, they started moving in, and after a period of time, an amazing thing happened, and it became a hotel full of mariachi musicians, and for a number of years, if you wanted to hire a mariachi band, you could go there uh, to this little hotel in Boyle Heights. And uh, if these guys did not have another engagement, they would stand around the outside of the hotel with their instruments and their little uniforms. And uh, um, you could pull up and talk a little bit. Uh, they might play a little bit as an audition. And if everything was agreeable, you could talk about money. Uh, and if everything was agreeable, like I said, they would jump in the car or the truck with you and off to the quinceanera or grandma's barbecue or whatever the event was. So you could hire a mariachi band like that for many years. The area has changed and uh, um, like many areas in Southern California and uh, all over the country and all over the world, I'm sure it's becoming a little more gentrified, I guess. So uh, um, the prices go up and uh, certain people that have been there can't always keep living there. So. But the mariachi guys are still there. The, the, the hotel's been restored. This song, uh, um, so many of them are not living in the hotel anymore. This song refers to a lot of these guys by name. And uh, um, from what I have heard, a lot of these guys will adopt kind of a new name, a new identity for themselves. 
and oftentimes something sort of mystical or fantastic, like the falcon or the dragon. This is called the mariachi, the mariachi hotel. Eagle is wearing his red poncho decorated with a white reindeer. There are rats here, he tells me, his voice soft and low. But it's the dogs and the lions that I fear. I come here each day and I stand on these streets. My home's the Mariachi Hotel. And Cecilia, she cries, cause I'm sinking so fast. It's a story she knows all too well. El Garabo, he says, that things aren't so good. His trumpet is battered and worn. He left for one year. He must convalesce. His battle with liquor is still strong. But the iguana is back, and he's here on the street. Where his father once taught him so well And Cecilia, she cries Like a babe in the night For the souls in the mariachi Dracula came, and he liked what he saw, and he stayed till he left just a shell. The plaza by day, he roamed as he pleased. Nights, the mariachi hotel. But now Dracula's gone, but still they drift with their horns and their fiddles and they yell and Cecilia looks down as they sleep through the night in the arms of the mariachi hotel yes Cecilia looks down as they sleep through the night in the arms of the mariachi hotel Thank you very much, and thank you everybody here. As I said before, it's good to have an audience. Uh, this has been a strange year, 
in many, many ways. But um, can you grab a copy of the new album for me, baby? I um, is there one up there? I hope so. I don't know if there is. Oh, you know where there is one? There's one right in the end of one of the ends of the... Anyhow, I have a new album. For, it's already been out since October, so it's not that new. Oh, it's in either one end of the bag or the other. So, thank you, baby. So, uh, this is a new album. Uh, it's called Love and Desperation. I'm going to sing that song right now. And uh, um, uh, Liam's, Liam's up here with me. He's got the album now. But... Uh, um, this is the title track off of the album, and it's uh, kind of a little bit about my misspent youth, I guess. Uh, I was a little wild as a kid. I got in a lot of trouble. I was a terrible student, uh, and uh, I, was, I was so bad that basically I never even talked about any of those years to either of my kids while they were growing up. It's like I didn't exist. And here you are, just blasting it out right in front of Liam and me. Yeah. <laughs> And, and he probably is understanding more of this than... Uh, he, Liam's not uh, not talking yet. He makes that, huh, sound. But uh, we figured out, everybody figured out a while ago that he uh, he's understanding quite a bit. He's comprehending a lot of what's going on. He can play the guitar. Let me give you a chord. Try it again. All right, that was good enough. So here's Katie. Here's Liam. You want to try that chord? That's the chord we're going to be working with there. So anyhow, this is called Love and Desperation. Oh. Little intro from uh, Liam. Thank you. <laughs> yes, someone robbed the northern man. Flew off south in a driving rain. You think they might not know your name, but they know your reputation. He's all right. Kind of. <laughs> yeah, well, a dark-skinned gal is good to me. Sweet and kind as she can be. She knows things that I can't see, but she tells no tales or stories. My brother walks a lonesome road Tired eyes, a heavy load Believes the things that he's been told But he holds no expectations <laughs> Yeah, well, Nashville is a rugged town Picks you up and knocks you down Leaves you in the lost and found Without a word or warning Yeah, well, the devil plays a crooked game. The odds are long and dead is in. But you know you'll play him just the same because you can resist temptation. Yeah, my mother was a wild thing. She loved to dance, she loved to sing. But she left one day in early spring because her children were a burden. Yeah, my father was a solemn man, a steady voice, a steady hand. But there were things he did not understand about love and desperation. Yeah, well, someone robbed the northern man, flew off south in a driving rain. You think they might not know your name, but they know your reputation. Yeah, you think they might not know your name. Yeah, but they know your reputation. So that song is a little harsh on my mom. Most of the rest of that is pretty accurate in one way or another. It's a little 
harsh on my mom there for poetic license sort of reasons. It made it a better song, I guess, but uh, she was not very good at being a mother and she admitted it. She had a lot of other interests. She was the life of the party. You ever meet my mom, Joy? She, everybody loved her. She was just charming. She was. She had story. The kids loved her. She they loved her when she came to visit. She drove Susie uh, kind of crazy because she would cause trouble. She would stir things up. But uh, um, uh, that was my mom. <laughs> Life of the party. So I'm gonna do a song. Uh, another. So that's a song on the new album. And here's another song on the new album. I'm gonna hold this up again. Uh, <laughs> because it wasn't up there for very long. So uh, this is the new album. Uh, it's called Love and Desperation. You can get this at the website of my, of my website. You can get it at a lot of other places. It's available from Amazon and any online music retailer, really. Amoeba Records has reopened uh, here in Los Angeles, and I'm hoping they're stocking it. I meant to check into that this week. Uh, they've stocked my albums there in the past, and I hope, I'm hoping they have a little slot uh, for me. Um, it's always next to somebody that I can't think of who, but uh, 